During the press conference of the World Health Organization here in Geneva last week came this encouraging announcement from Stephanie Joanne Angelina Germanotta, better known as Lady Gaga. I am proud to say that um, over the past seven days, we've raised a total of $35 million uh, for the Solidarity Fund. This money will include essential PPE supplies and testing kits around the world and will help improve lab capacity to rapidly process tests. It will also coordinate uh, research development. Uh, it is so important to think globally and to support the World Health Organization to curb the pandemic and prevent uh, future outbreaks. Monsignor Robert Vitillo from the Holy See Mission in Geneva emphasized that during this pandemic, we must not forget those who are hit the most. Well, I, I just, uh, again, I feel like uh, it's really important in these series to always to call attention uh, to the people who are at the margins of society. Uh, because uh, while many of us in, in countries where we can live a comfortable life and a safe life because we can confine ourselves or distance ourselves from others physically, many, many people in the slums, the refugees, the migrants, uh, the poorest people, they don't have that luxury. And so we need to understand uh, their situation and we also need to find ways that we could try to contribute to helping them. Poorer countries and fragile economies stand to face the biggest shock from this pandemic. I call on all countries, companies and research institutions to support open data open science and open collaboration so that all people can enjoy the benefits of science and research. Two French medical experts have been slammed but later apologized for remarks they made on a news channel suggesting that Africans could be used like guinea pigs for COVID-19 remedy tests. And it was a disgrace actually and appalling to hear during the 21st century from scientists that kind of remark. And we condemn this with the strongest terms possible. But we assure you that this will not happen in Africa. Well, first of all, I think it's important for we as Catholics and all people of faith and of goodwill uh, to make sure that they good, get good factual information. Uh, and that information is available in many sources on the WHO website, the, uh, the national uh, public health authorities in most countries uh, have this information. And a lot of it is done very simply, so that it's understandable for people who don't have uh, a lot of uh, scientific language behind them. Uh, so that's good get factual information and spread facts instead of fiction or myths. Receiving bad news about the virus daily, we post the question to the health organization about the status of studies to develop vaccines against COVID-19. Until we can actually have a study that pulls together enough of a sample size to get these answers to these questions, uh, we're trying to evaluate every piece of evidence that is published so that we could look at the, um, the way in which these studies were done. We can look at the strengths, we can look at the limitations, so that can help guide us closer towards an effective treatment for COVID-19. For the time being, though, especially elderly people during this coronavirus crisis are facing more difficulties than ever before. A call for healthy and especially young people to offer neighborly help. I was uh, very pleased in the apartment building where I live. Uh, a young uh, girl posted on our elevator that she's home from school and that she's willing to do errands for the old people. I'm one of those old people <laughs> in that, that building. I hope I won't need her help, but it's just nice to know that, that some people are caring for others as well as being concerned about themselves. When I say we have to quarantine politicizing, I have to also recognize the role of the media in some countries you know, adding fuel to the fire and politicizing too. Please, please mobilize the whole world to fight against a common enemy, an invisible enemy. So let's be hopeful that the day is near when the doctors serve the cure and with it made the public enemy number one somehow visible. Almost like the final scene of this movie, delivered him defeated, put out of commission for good.